Om Shanti. All of you can hear. Yes, we can hear you. Lovely. Welcome to the Ayurveda class. I hope everybody is well. Yes, thank you. How are you? Very well. Thank you, dear. <clears throat> so, um, could you remind me what we covered until now in Ayurveda? Yesterday or the last day I had that we were covering food according to the position of the sun and when to eat based on the okay so we covered the food according to the sun right yes okay so now write it down the food according to the seasonship today we're gonna talk about this so before talking about this let's start with the one time it's a good prayer. So we set the intention uh, for the class. So coming to the sitting posture, keeping your back neck straight, and just for a few seconds, gently close your eyes. Bring the awareness towards yourself, towards your body. <clears throat> now take a deep, prolonged inhalation. And they prolong exhalation. Inhale and exhale. Now inhale for the um. Take a deep breath. Oh. Sensation. Drawing the word palm, drop your palm. Place on your eyes. Stay slowly while blinking, looking at your palm. Gently open up your eyes with a great smile and say, Om Shanti. Om Shanti. <clears throat> so, Welcome to the Ayurveda class here and uh, we discussing about the food and the great example I recovered uh, from my moderation of the diet. I got sick very much in yesterday. I got the fever due to the vaccination and I did nothing. I just come to the liquid diet. I start taking the you know, hot beverages like liquid and uh, even not taking any pills or any medicine, even Ayurvedic medicine, I'm not taking. I just take a little bit of uh, what it's like uh, homemade uh, remedies and few uh, herbs I have taken. And I, within a one day, 24 hours, I healed myself. So that's, you know, you know, 
before I'm teaching you, I do the experiment on myself and then I figure out that this is you can implement on yourself. So if you tra- start trusting your body, especially regarding the food, your body is going to make the food as a medicine. It's going to use as a food as a medicine. Whatever you are taking, it becomes, it nour- starts nourishing you and starts healing you no matter whatever you are having, uh, what kind of problem you are having, especially the flu, viral, fever, and these diseases which you know, make you more and more like um, lethargic, immobilized, and give you lots of pain. But believe me, if you can bear the pain and you can trust your body, body is going to heal automatically. And if you're giving the correct diet to in that condition and you do the fasting, the body is going to heal no matter what. Uh, problem you are facing it. <clears throat> so now today we are going to talk about it. Uh, that's why Mitta Heart play very important. So till now we learn about the food according to the composition of the sun. Now today we are going to talk about food according to the Kidosha. I will write it down for you. Food according to the Kidosha. <clears throat> food according to the situation condition. You know, why I'm explaining this part because it's generally applicable to everyone. Because many problems you cannot figure out. And within a one month, you cannot be a doctor. You cannot treat many people, right? You're not eligible even. One month, at least I want to give you something which gonna, you know, which help you to come out from your problems, uh, general problems, and you can help, you know, by using those things, you can introduce to your students and your family members. So these are the general things which you can utilize in your day-to-day activity. So that's why I I really want that you should focus on this Mittahar concept. Because if you're focusing on that part and you do the experiment within within your body, you know, you have to do it. And before that, you cannot get the benefit. So you have to practice everything, whatever I'm teaching it. And believe me, I have tried it on myself. And that's why I'm 100% confident about it. If you're practicing, you're going to see the results. And make sure that you you catch my words right okay so if you get any queries we'll do that you can ask me don't worry about it but keep the things clear in your mind okay <clears throat> so food according to the sri dosha when sri dosha gonna imbalance <clears throat> so how we gonna help according to the certain spices and certain foods because um, I, according to the Ayurveda, we have to take uh, the opposite aha. So if what is going balance, we have to take those kind of uh, food and uh, medicine, which is going to, you know, opposite of the what, which is going to hot in nature, which not in cold in nature, which is going to, you know, imbalance the what. Those things we're gonna take. Same with pith and same with the kapha. So these things we gonna talk about food according to the three dosha. <clears throat> so write it down. What the dominant when what the dominant, what kind of food one should take? When what dominant, what kind of food one should take?
So, understand what the people are. Remember, we talked about it. Now, again, go back to the Agni. So, they have which kind of Agni? Remember, Vishram Agni they are having. So, also keep in your mind what kind of Agni they are having. Vishram Agni, unstable Agni. So, they are hungry, they are not hungry sometimes. So, few spices are very really good, and because of that, uh, they have to eat accordingly so <clears throat> so especially certain spices are good for them one thing the spices is cinnamon cinnamon cardamom cumin ginger clove and talk even best and best that is a garlic yeah the top you know, spices among these, the garlic is the best. <clears throat> Can you please repeat the spices again? Okay, cinnamon, dalchini, this ko bol de na, dalchini, so shuddh dalchini agar mil jaye, achhi wali, that's gonna work, okay, but, uh, and cinnamon powder one has to use, you don't use the stick directly because powder gonna work, uh, give you the top arrangement and how you make the powder that is again the question so when you are using the powder form of any spices make sure you are making the powder at your home and on the stone make the paste on the stone uh, you know the stone in ancient time we used to grind the things that gonna enhance the quality of the spices but if you grind the things in uh, mixy and mixer you're going to use, it could going to change the potency of the uh, spices. So even procedure is, I keep telling about this and again I'm repeating it. That procedure is most important part of the anything, especially in Ayurveda when we're talking about it. So even food, how you're preparing, that can turn the food into Rajasthik to the Sakri quality. So, <clears throat> so with the medicine and so with the any spices, the procedure to making the spices converted into the raw to the powder form, that's also ancient way you have to use. Bring the stone at your home. I'm now you're going to ask me, ma'am, we don't have much time. <laughs> what are we going to do? So in that condition, buy the powder from the market. Good brand, you know, cold pressed powder, something like that. Best quality, you can go for it. But uh, stone, grind powder, the good quality, cinnamon sugar. <clears throat> I hope you understand this one. Procedure is very much important. So. Uh, you have to be very energetic about it because it's all about changing everything. You cannot remain lazy, switching cooking, making, uh, choosing the herbs. And especially when we talked about health, you have to be very active. You have to take out extra time. So, cinnamon powder is the best. How you're going to make it, this is the best way. If you don't get option, buy from the market. That's it. Cardamom. The green cardamom is good one. There's a black cardamom is also available in the market. Uh, so green cardamom, when uh, after uh, you know having the meal, you can use it. Green cardamom tea. Before when you're preparing the food, then um, black cardamom or grey cardamom you can use. Body like you go there, na go. Um, the big cardamom. I don't know in European countries what you call, but there are the two types of the cardamom is available. So, so two green one after having uh, after your meal, you can make the cardamom tea without the tea leaves. Okay, herbal tea. You can sip it, and when you're preparing the food, you can add the uh, the grey and big. 
gray cardigan. Okay, you can again make the paste and then use it again with the stone one. You're making the paste. Then another cumin, yes, cumin, raw cumin you can use, and even the powder form you can use in both ways. It is best. Ginger, raw ginger you can use, and the paste of the ginger also you can use. Again, paste should be, all the powder paste should be made, grinded on the stone. Close, raw, and the paste both work. Garlic, you can cook the food, but the best way will uh, the garlic work, work when on the water people, a water dominant personality, when <clears throat> it taken raw, empty stomach early in the morning, like a medicine. So one clove of the garlic, you can feed it. And uh, because it's very much heat generated, so you have to do the experiment with that, that thing. It's going to increase the pit. It can possibly. So to avoid that thing, you can soak the garlic during the night and feed it and then drink uh, anti stomach. Then take that glue, feed it, and then take with the lukewarm water like a medicine. So you have to do the experiment with both things. Like we do the, we observe how it works uh, affecting the patient. Okay. So the so raw garlic, garlic paste, even in, if that becomes a little bit difficult for you, so garlic you can use in your uh, uh, meal. So, so raw garlic, chop it down and then sprinkle on your a salad and sprinkle on your food on the top. That that you can do. Then garlic oil you can do also. It's very easy to make the garlic oil. Ah. Yes, daily you can have if bath is disturbed. If you have the bath dominant personality and your bath is disturbed, that time. You have to take the garlic daily. But when bath come into the you know balance state, that time you have to stop taking it because it works as a medicine, not as a food. Garlic in Ayurveda mentioned as a medicine. Even some part of, uh, we also use the remember I talked about it, non um, flesh of the animal also use. Parts of the animal also use, but as a medicine, not as a food. So that's why non veg is not enabled. It's not mandatory to eat, okay, in order to fulfill your nourishment of the body and for your mind also. Your body doesn't require these things. But whenever you get sick, certain things we add in our diet. So garlic is the one of the parts. <clears throat> now, what kind of taste they have to, you know, should take it? Salty, sour, and sweet should be given to them. And uh, like salty, sour, and sweet. So sweet is not they start having jalebi, rasgulla, not like that. Daily you are having tasty cake. Oh, ma'am told me no. I can have have the people do these things. You told me to have the sweets. <laughs> so it's not that kind of sweet I'm talking about. Okay, sweet means here. Uh, it means that you have to take the natural, add the natural, like honey you can add, um, jaggery, coconut. So raw, natural forms of the sweet, not processed, not burfi, rasgulla, these kind of in India, we have many varieties of the sweet. So those sweets I'm not talking about. Those are the heavy. But natural form like raw honey you used to take, taking, jaggery you are taking, coconut, palm sugar. These are the natural. Uh, honey, jaggery and palm sugar, coconut sugar, then uh, date sugar is available in the market also. You can take it. Thread mishri. Oh. Thread mishri is the best for the fifth uh, one, but what people sometimes they can take. These are the natural forms they have to take. 
in their diet. So after that, thread, thread mystery, the bigger mystery we get, right? Ha, Which is not processed, the normal mystery, right? Hmm. Ha ha. वो वाला नहीं लेना. वो mystery है भी. Okay. That is वो the cubes cubes में जो आता है, वो नहीं लेना. Don't buy the. बड़ा वाला ना. एकदम रफ क्यूब्स जो होते हैं. हाँ. बिल्कुल पत्थर वाला. It's okay. it's a ha. Uh, it's look like a rock. and they have the thread in between it okay so you can google it thread mystery you get the picture of it small look like a pay slightly yellowish okay slightly it's not properly white slightly yeah yellowish. i got it yeah so that you have you can do it so take it after uh, having your meal you can Add spanish. You can even add it to curd also, yeah. Curd or yogurt instead of sugar. Abhi, abhi aaren, abhi aaren. So beef sugar you can take with the after having your meal. So even with the meal, like if you finish in your meal, finish your meal with the jaggi, a piece of jaggi. It's very good for the water people. Okay. So one piece of small piece of jaggi, you can keep it in your mouth. Lick it and add some fennel seed into it. Roasted fennel is improving their digestion. Also. That they can do. This trick is very good for them. Okay, so that's sweet. I'm talking about it. Now, then bitter and astringent taste should be used in moderation, like coriander seed, fennel seed, parsley, thyme, saffron, turmeric. Should be used in moderation. Okay, these kind of spices. Moderation is like they can use, but not too much. Got it? So in moderation, they can go for these kind of. Again, I'm repeating: coriander seeds, fennel seeds, seeds, parsley, thyme, saffron, turmeric. Okay. Used in moderation. These work as a help, and then it also helps them to control their water problem. Okay, my water problem, joints, immobility, pain, any ache in your body you are feeling, that means your water is aggravated. Dry mouth you are having. These are the symptoms. Lots of thirst you feel. Then, uh, will you be discussing the water personality symptoms also? Coughing? No, no, no. This bad dominant personality. Will you be discussing uh, this? Uh, like, like right now, you said, na, that bad dominant people. If you have any kind of ache, that means you're bad dominant. I think we discussed it already. Okay. I'll I'll check. Yeah. Okay. 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 We've already discussed. Discuss about it. Uh, we discuss about all the sub the personality, their problems. Their characteristics, physiological, psychological, all the things. You can go through the previous videos, okay? Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. okay. So <clears throat> now, yes. Now, warm, nourishing food should be given to them. Fats are also good for them. So again, I'm coming back to the cow ghee. So cow ghee is a you know amrit for them. So A2 level cow ghee is available in the market. So uh, you can get from the market A2 level. Okay, A2 level local cow happy cow ghee. If you get your own cow, that is the best thing. Okay, that is the best thing you are doing to yourself. But I know in cities it's very difficult. So in that condition. My first advice: move to the little bit that area where you get the plenty of space, where you get your own cow. So how you you know kept the dog? You can pamper the cow, and she will give you everything whatever you require, whatever your body, your mind requires. So because their ghee, their milk, their urine, their poo, everything is full of nourishment. Which human body can use, uh, utilize, okay? But if you don't have that option, the next option what you can do 
market in market a to level cow ghee is available by the good brand uh, you can google it a little bit and uh, get the cow ghee and then add on the top whatever meal you are having it take with your meal this because the vat personality is good when vat is gonna dominate your whole body gonna get dry even their small intestine large intestine their stomach gonna get dry their tongue gonna get dry so to add the moisturizer he work like that so he should be given good amount of ki they should take with every meal so it's and nasse kri also given to them so that is a different thing but uh, yes if you add in the ki into their diet that is a very really good for them then cow milk should be given to them also okay cow milk during the night because they are so many remember i talked about they sleep less and night meals come lot to them to it's going to disturb their patterns of sleep so they require cow milk cow milk even modern science would believe happy cow milk again and again happy cow milk the happy local cow milk so if you get that milk during the night time it's going to infuse the good sleep sound sleep to you okay Asian time people, you know, whenever they get got the kind of issue, these things easily available and best quality is available for what very quickly come under the control. So these two things you have to do it for the what people. If what the dominant personality is vegan, what we can do? Then coconut oil to little bit warm it. Uh, Dip warm it and then add into the day on top of the meal, whatever meal they are having it, and cook it. All they can take it. Best cow, you know, desi cow ghee, local A to level, but if not, you don't want to take it. So coconut oil, virgin coconut, cold pressed virgin coconut oil, you can have. Uh, it's also available in the market. So um, I tried um, that um, organic India brand is good one. So you can try also even Patanjali coconut oil, virgin coconut oil is good one. These two brands I have tried, it, so I find <clears throat> good one. So, but. Before adding it, you have to give warm because cold coconut oil is cold in nature. So give warm it and then add into the meal. Coconut milk they can take it again. It's cold in nature, but yes, warm it. Add the hot spices like garlic and or not sorry, garlic ginger powder. Just for salt. Um, dry ginger powder. Again, powder. How you gonna make it? That dry the ginger and then so then grind on. Grind it or even buy from the market and pinch off the turmeric and pinch off the black pepper. You can add and almond milk is good better than the coconut milk. Almond milk you can take. Cashew nut milk you can take. This thing provides the lubrication to their whole body. <clears throat> Now, all uh, uncooked food they cannot have it. So, salad uh, they cannot go for it. Raw things they cannot. Sprouts they cannot have. It gives them bloating, lots of bloating. <clears throat> so, uncooked. Unripened fruits should not be given to them as well. They can have all most of the things, but strictly they have to avoid cold drinks, caffeine, candies, all the sugar candies, processed sugar, unripened fruits, and 
you know, uh, too much estrogen, like um, cucumber, kakuri, I don't know what you call kakuri. Whatever is, you know, raw in nature, which you do use in raw in salad, that shouldn't be given to them. And all the forms of the cauliflower, um, and there is broccoli, and uh, full gobi, full gobi cauliflower, then cabbage, lettuce, everything should be completely avoided. This is increased their worth. So this should be avoided. Freshly homemade, unprocessed food is given to them. Cooked food should be given to them. They can have rest of the things, but steamed salad, steamed vegetables, they can add certain spices, chili, green chili, little bit they can have. So, you know, but not too many spices they can add. But make sure cooking should be done on the, when I talked about the utensils through that way, okay? That is also important. So everything should be connected now. Then everything, and whole day they have to like drinking. So hot drinking water should be given to them. Hot beverages is very good for them. All kind of hot beverages, but it doesn't mean I'm talking about okay, start taking coffee and tea. No, I'm not talking about coffee. I'm talking about hot herbal beverages is good. So they can have uh, sometimes black. <clears throat> Uh, they can, you can make the herbal teas of the basil herbal tea. Then sometimes you can make the ginger, lemon, honey tea. These kind of things you can use. These herbal teas you can use, make it. And uh, rose uh, herbal tea you can take it. So these things we can do. So even drinking water should be hot drinking water. Uh, hot water should be given to them for drink. That is also good for the water. So this much you understood? Any doubts you have? Especially for the food for the water. And make sure within a, um, the drinks, how they can have the drinks, herbal drinks they can have. Um, before the meal, within the meal, during the meal, and after the meal. But if they're taking the water, so before one hour and after one hour of the meal should be ideal for them. Okay? It should not be taken during the meal or immediately starting with your meal and ending with your meal. It should be one hour. There should be a one hour gap. But hot kind of beverages, hot tea, herbal tea, you can immediately have with your regular and that you can Any doubt you have? What does intake is also important? So, any doubts in here, dear? Any questions? No. I hope everything is clear. So, if you find out yourself, it is simply then so my, my body is going to dry and everything is becoming so dry in nature. So, this is just one thing going to a lot. It's going to it doesn't mean that you are not pregnant, but that is very moment you are affected by the bath dominant. So in that you have to try these things and you can help yourself, you can help your body, you can help your mind. Because food because food is makes you. So whatever you are eating, it's making you making your mind that you're going to think about it. That's the way you perceive about it. So make sure you choose the right diet and 
the right things which give you the nourishment, provide you the energy on the daily basis. So we're gonna end the session here. Mangal Ho, Om Shanti, meet you at meditation class. Bless you guys, enjoy the rest of the day. Bye bye, take care. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.